I am ready to get into this fight called the Flames of Hatred. Oh my lord. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episode 59. Like I said, called Flames of Hatred. Last episode, we have just seven different fights going on in this forest, and so much cool shit's about to happen. I really don't even want to wait any further because that was pretty much a good description of what happened. So I am actually going to hop into this episode right now. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching like Jujutsu Kaisen, Q, many, many more. We are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Those links are always down below for you guys. Uh, if you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Darius. Thank you guys all so much. Black Clover, episode 59, The Flames of Hatred. Let's go. Flame Spirit Magic. Salamander's Talon. Ooh, that's a cool slashing technique. Go for the dodge versus try to deflect or anything like that. Oh my lord, that is a very strong technique. The highest attack power of the four great spirits. I cannot wait to see the other two. I love that shot of the tree coming down. You didn't even notice him at first. That's so slick. Anti-magic, let's cut that boy in half. Spirits are mana-based life forms. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that manner would be fucking cool. I can't blame him. Look at my man. He probably got a lot of experience fucking fighting Veto if we think about it. Who can be scared when this guy with no magic is willing to do whatever it takes? You attacked us first. If we, if we go look back at our Google history, I mean, they consider the human attack first. Fuck it, whatever. Is Fauna actually down to have a conversation? This is the very mature response to this, is asking for discussion okay i i respect it i think it's commendable trying to have a discussion he's definitely is a bigger person but now that they've chalked that thrown in the water it's time to say fuck it cut her stab her in the heart and we cut him in half is the talk no jutsu Messing up with her brainwashing, whatever the fuck is going on with her, because we know she was a good kid. Speaking of a good kid... It's not Langris, is it? That's not the mage from the opening, is it? Like the one who saved the entire kingdom? Elves mana is truly amazing. Interesting. And this is the wedding everyone talks about. Is it Lick's wedding specifically? It looks like it. I don't know if I knew that before. Where they attack the humans and everyone died horrifically. Oh, she is a human. I didn't even notice that. The child that will bring humans and elves together. Oh my god. And then this is the attack. That is so horrific. Only that one human who, I don't know, maybe I'll learn later, but it definitely looked, it looked like language from the back. It definitely is not language. It looks like the wizard who they show in every episode who says, once at one point we thought humanity would be destroyed by demons, but then one single wizard saved them all. You know, it looks like him. I'm gonna ha now I'm gonna actually have to re not rewatch it, but next time I watch an episode, I'm gonna have to look. What is that spell? That is actually horrific. Oh. 
If there's one thing I don't want, it's for Fauna to get more powerful. She is OP. Now she has her ancient demon curse fucking- Oh, now she has Mars's power too. Just like Veto. Don't tell me Salamander's evolving too. Is he finally gonna reach? He's like a full-blown fucking dragon. That is the scariest thing I have ever seen in this show. If that thing was coming at me, I would be terrified. Where is the queen? What has the queen been doing this whole time? I'm so curious. Noel, Sea Dragon's Cradle. Against fire, much needed. This is what I was looking for earlier. That's my girl. Coming in mad clutch like always. Thanks for the Pokemon 101. But also, fire, if it's strong enough, can definitely defeat water. It will evaporate the fuck out of it. Oh, and the Talon was so strong the last time we used it. Nice. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Peace out, Fauna. <laughs> Imagine if we had some of the Silvas here to help out. Oh, man, we need all the fucking... We need to overcome this obstacle. I can't wait for us to do that. This is definitely not true. This is definitely in her head. I just feel so bad that she feels this way. This lifelong abuse from her siblings. I was about to say, think of Asta, think of Kahono. Other people, you know, believe in you. Something that only you can do. I love the shot as we're going up, like it's a roller coaster. Bakasta! Ooh. Hell no. Oh my god, <laughs> look at that thing. Dragon versus dragon. Ooh, go right through that shit, come on. Okay, now you're getting all defensive and shit, not doing shit. Hell no, we're not. Make it go around. Heat seeking water dragon. That doesn't even make sense, but. Oh my god. Take it to the heavens. Get it the fuck out of here. I mean, that was amazing. I don't know if that's enough to destroy it, though. I love when they play this song. Mineral creation, harp. Harp! Yeah. This is just like fucking Mars. Yep. Oh, I didn't even. Ah, I forgot he uses harp as well. Like, literally. I mean, their grimoires are the exact same. Phoenix robe, the exact same healing that he used. Yeah, that's so OP. Else, you can use such a good recovery spell, yet she is so offensively based. Let's get some talk no jutsu going. Come on. I knew this would happen. I knew someone would bring up Mars to Fauna. Yeah, I think she'd been brainwashed or something happened. You said special move earlier. I know. He's, he, what, he mentioned that earlier. What is this? Let's hear it. So you will actually kill her. That is true. That would most definitely need our support squad of Finral Vanessa. I really enjoy her thread magic. It's so strong. It's so versatile. 
Ooh. Dodging all the harps. Oh. But then you have... Oh, the support squad is fucking amazing. We're gonna cut right through that fire. You think that's doing anything to us? Literally a piercing missile. Stab her right in the head. Damn it, we went for Salamander. It's still good, though. Yep, he's gone. Bull thrust. That's literally a bull. I love it. Get that salamander the fuck out of here. That's actually my favorite move Asta has. And it involves Vanessa Finral. He's gonna snap. I am very curious about what... I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed getting some backstory. A little, just the little snippets, the little teases. I can't wait to get more. We got a little bit at the end there with Fauna and how I assume she first met Licked. But then, I don't know. Because here's my thing. And don't, definitely don't answer it for me. I don't want to get spoiled whatsoever. You guys know me. I like going in literally blind as I can be. But Veto knew Licked when he was a child of mana, you know, way back in the day. Then, somehow Veto turned into the hairy monster beast that he is today. Because he definitely looks so different. Whereas Licked only has the paint, only has certain accessories that are different. He still looks the exact same as Licked in the flashbacks. Veto looks so different. And I won't lie, the eyes look the same. Actually, it kind of looked like Mimosa. But, ah, see, I think they made a very distinct viewing of the woman that Licked was going to marry slash have a baby with because this is a fauna episode like, i don't like this doesn't make sense at all but if if veto was his childhood friend got reincarnated into this hairy beast did fauna was fauna his wife with his child also get reincarnated into a, a human girl I, because she was a human because licked their species are the elves who the mage who came there's only one human who knew where they lived the mage who came to visit him said you guys there's mana you guys are blessed with mana it's truly beautiful stuff like that let's let's work together to live in prosperity happiness peace he says with your guys's use of mana and how amazing those are with that and our techniques for making magical items we can be incredible which i agree with that seems like a win-win for all but obviously they would blame humans because he was the only outsider who knew where they lived but i'll definitely think it's a little deeper than that but i'm so curious about wait if he was the only human then how did the human who married Licht. Yeah, I see there's so many questions that I don't have answered before I can even start to make a concrete story in my head. Oh, and then Asa was bringing up Mars to her and she said she had a flashback of Mars and said, I don't know anyone like that. So I don't know if it's brainwashing or see, there's so many things it could be. I'm so curious, man. This is, this is, this is fantastic though. This is really good. I'm really liking the fight. I'm really curious what happens to a spirit once they've been, what seems to be murdered because the only thing in my opinion that could kill a spirit because they have mana based bodies is an anti-magic sword which is asa so asa could be the only spirit killer i can think of but if they just have mana based bodies is it kind of like a spirit in fate zero or fate stay night i forget which one i watched whereas they are based off the mana from their host. They can disincorporate, they can reincorporate, you know, they can do a whole bunch of shit based off the mana. I, I have so many questions. Uh, I'll say this episode got me hyped. I love the fights. I love the hypeness from Noel being, oh, Noel, the seat. Oh, I love that. I love it so, so much. But so many questions I need answered. Don't answer them for me, obviously, but so many I need answered. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys want to keep watching, you know, check out that Patreon, early access, all that joint. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out, you guys.